Hello there and welcome to my Starship Emporium. Today we're going to talk about ships. What they are and what's the difference. In No Man's Sky the only real way to get around is in a starship. We all start with a lovely little fighter called the Radiant Pillar. But there's so many more to find and discover. So what type of ships are there? Well there are seven types of ship in the game. We've got fighters, haulers, explorers, shuttles, solar ships, living ships and exotic ships. They're all lovely in their own way and they all have their own specialities. But where do we find them? Well, they can be found in different systems. Simply warp to another system and you'll come across 21 brand new ships. Every ship is unique and the number of the different types of ship depends on the life form that's predominant in that system. Every system, apart from the pirate systems, have the following ships. They have seven shuttles, three fighters, three explorers, three haulers, and four more based on the dominant race. So you get an extra four. If you go to a Viking system, you get four fighters. Kovacs, four more explorers. And Gek, four more haulers. So in a Viking system, you'll get seven fighters spawn in. Every system also has an exotic ship, but whether you see it is another matter. But pirate systems, what's the difference with those? Well, pirate systems are similar, apart from that the shuttles that would normally come in have been completely replaced with solar ships, pretty much. A pirate system is the best place to find your best solar. Solar ships can also be found in normal systems, but not always, but sometimes up to three shuttles can be replaced by solar ships. The economy of a system also has an effect. Every system is either a T1, 2 or 3, and the chance of spawning an S-Class depends on the economy. A T1 has a no percent chance, so you're not going to find an S-Class ship there, a T2 you've got a 1% chance and a T3 a 2% chance. In pirate systems it's a 5% chance of finding an S-Class ship. Hunting in T3 systems gives the best chance to grab an S-Class ship or a pirate system but it can take a while. S-Class you say what's S-Class? Well there are four classes of ship C, B, A and S. C being the lowest. The class limits how high the stats of a ship can go and how much inventory space it can have. The higher the class, the higher the price, but it will be better from the outset. Class can be upgraded with nanites, but you'll need a lot. If you have a lot though, it's quicker and sometimes better to buy a lower class ship and upgrade it. Inventory though, what about inventory? Ships also have three tiers of inventory, again T1, 2 and 3, and the base number of slots increases and depends on the ship type. For example, a T3 hauler can have up to 48 slots. But what are they good for? What are their specialisations? Well, shuttles? Eh, not much. They can never go better than a T2, meaning their storage and stats will never go above a certain level, but they're great value for money. Early on you can haul a lot more than your starter ship for not much more cash. The first rung on the ladder, let's say. They also have the most amount of component parts available, so variation is amazing but they're not really the best looking ships out there. Now explorers, these come with the best hyperdrive range. If you're looking to jump around the galaxy a lot, then the explorer is the way to go, and they can look really nice as well. They're not the best in combat, so I'd stay away from a dogfight. Haulers, these are great for moving and protecting all your precious stuff. Loads of inventory and great shields. They are, however, really, really expensive. Fighters, as the name says, these are the best for space battles. Great damage and manoeuvrability, but watch out, the shields are a bit flaky and the jump range is rubbish. Solar ships, well, these are the ones mostly found in pirate systems. They're great all-rounders and they start off with even stats, but, but higher than average from the other ship types. Upgradable to be great flyers. They're retro-styled and not bad value for money either. Exotics, these are the special ones, every system has one and always spawn as an S-Class. They're hard to find and they come in two distinct types. There's squids and there's guppies and the guppies can also be royal as well. Similar to solars in that they're great all-rounders but they start off at the top end with S-Class stats. They're on the pricey side as well and, as I've mentioned, hard to find. Lastly, living ships. These are now great alternatives to regular mechanical ships and again great all-rounders. Flowery Squirrel is the expert on living ships, so jump over there to learn more. 
All the ships are made up of a set of component parts. Fighters include Alpha, Raza, Hot Rod Noses with Droid, Mecha Wings and many more. Explorers can have Hopper or Fire Spray fuselages with a different array of wings and solar panels and other fancy accoutrements. Haulers, the big ones, have Mac or Cab or turret cockpits with a, a massive array of cargo additions. Solars are made up of fuselages, wings, wingtips and sails and there are some really lovely ones out there. The two types of exotics, squid, that come in an array of glorious colours and guppies that have different wings, engines, noses and tails. And finally shuttles, the poor brother, have the most component parts but I think they need a bit of a makeover. These are just some of the parts that you can find. For a full list and details, why not head over to the NMS wiki? I've popped a link in the description below so you can go and see for yourselves. So that's the ships and their bits, but upgrades you say? We've mentioned it, but what can you upgrade? Well, depending on the ship class, you can expand your storage using storage augmentations or units. And again, depending on the class of your ship, you can upgrade the stats by buying technology upgrades. Both of these can be done on space stations. Using this Starship Outfitter station, you can upgrade both your class and storage. Class can be upgraded with nanites and storage with units or storage augmentations. The augmentations can be gathered by scrapping other ships, freighter crash sites or from frigate expeditions. The price of both storage slots and class increases every time you buy one and can get rather expensive. Once you're at your desired class and inventory size, you can head to the Starship Salesman and look for technology upgrades. These also come in class with S giving the best numbers. Just spend your hard-eared nanites and install the upgrades adjacent to the tech they're upgrading. You can have three upgrades per tech in the inventory page and three in the tech page. Any more and they turn red and they just don't do anything. Adjacency is important as well, so swap them around to see which combination gives you the best numbers. So that's how we upgrade. There's a lot more details that we could go into, but for now this I think is a great overview of what ships are all about. So with all that in mind, you need to think about what you want from your ship. Then head out into the black, looking for the right races system at the right economy level to find the highest chances of getting a ship that best suits you. I hope that's answered any questions you might have. If not, ask away in the comments or head over to the Discord, again link below, to chat all about ships. And if you've watched this far, you must have liked the video, so why not smash those like and subscribe buttons for even more Starship goodness. If you'd like to join my fabulous subscribers, please feel free to click the button and hit the bell. If you'd like to buy me a brew, there's a link down below. And I'd like to say a huge thank you to my members whose generosity really helps to keep the Emporium going. So thank you for stopping by and I'll see you next time.